A how-to guide on editing your video on a computer. Now that you have started an editing project, you are ready to begin editing. You will want to begin by adding clips to your timeline. To do this, find your media panel and make sure the My Media tab is selected. Choose Photos Library. Now, select a clip that you would like to add to the timeline. When you hover your mouse over the tabs on either the left or right of the clip, arrows will appear. Click and drag the arrows to the desired portion of the clip that you would like to use. When satisfied, click the small square with a plus sign on the clip to add it to your timeline. You can also grab the clip and drag it to your timeline. Repeat these steps for each clip you would like to add. Once you have added your clips, you can view your video by moving the play ahead to the beginning of your timeline and then pressing the play button in the viewing panel. You can also press the space bar on your keyboard to start and stop your video. If you have chosen a theme, you will notice that iMovie has automatically added transitions between each of the clips added and titles to the beginning and end of your movie. Transitions should only be used for a specific purpose. For example, to show a before and after, or to emphasize the passing of time. Otherwise, transitions are not necessary. To remove the transitions, select the small square between each clip and press the delete or backspace key on your keyboard. The first time you do this, iMovie will tell you that automatic titles and transitions are turned on. Choose Turn off automatic content. You may now delete each of the transitions in the title that iMovie has added in. After viewing the clips in your timeline, you may decide you want to make changes. To do this, move your mouse over the beginning or end of the clip you would like to edit. Arrows will appear. Now, click and drag your mouse to lengthen or shorten your clip. You can split a clip by moving the playhead to where you want to cut it. Right click on the clip and choose Split Clip. To delete a clip, select the clip and press your delete or backspace key on your keyboard. To undo an edit, go to edit at the top left corner of your screen and choose undo. You can also press command Z on your keyboard. To edit your audio, select a clip and choose the volume icon above your viewing panel. Now, slide the circle to the left to lower and to the right to turn up your volume. If you right-click on the clip and select Detach Audio, your audio will separate from its video and you can edit the audio independently. To add music or sound effects, select the Audio tab in your media panel. Choose Sound Effects under Audio. To choose music, select the folder at the top of the media panel and choose Theme Music. This audio is provided by iMovie and free to use. When adding music or audio that you didn't record, it is crucial that you have gotten permission to use these. Severe legal consequences can occur if using copyrighted music without permission. To add titles to your video, select the Titles tab in the media panel. You may now choose between a variety of options. Click and drag the title of your choice to where you want it on your timeline. Double click on the title to highlight and add your preferred text. Titles should be at least 3 seconds. Final movies should be no longer than 3 minutes. When you are ready to export your movie, select the button with the square and upward pointing arrow at the top right corner of your window. 
Choose File. Make sure your resolution is set to 1080p, the quality is set to high, and Compress is set to better quality. Click Next and name your final project and choose where you would like it to save. Click Save and your movie will export and appear in the folder where you saved it. You now have the tools needed to create a video from beginning to end.